Welcome, everyone. My name is Venkat. And I manage the cache and database infrastructure teams at Facebook. Um, it's really good to see everybody. Thanks for taking the time to, and, and, you know, to come here and, and choosing to spend the day with us. Um, let me start this whole thing with like, the most fundamental existential question that is on everybody's mind right now, which is, does the world really need another data conference? Right? Um, why are we here? You know, the more I think about it, I think the answer is no. Let's all go home. Uh, no, uh, seriously, the, you know, what is the point of a conference? The, the conference is about you know, bringing people together who are working on you know, similar uh, problems and, and, and working on similar um, you know, building you know, solutions for you know, overcoming those, those challenges and bringing them together so they exchange ideas, they learn from each other, and, and we collectively move the industry and the, and the community forward. And there are different types of conferences, right? There are lots of academic conferences, and um, almost all academic conferences are about exchanging ideas, right? Uh, any piece of academic work is about, hey, here is an idea, here is why it's important, uh, here is how it's different from others, and some proof of validation, right? It's great uh, that the forum, you know, some ideas are more practical than others, some ideas are more disruptive than others, and, and, but academic conferences essentially are a forum to uh, foster exchange of ideas. And then there are technical conferences like Annual MySQL Conference, Hadoop Summit. They're very good at like, you know, celebrating solutions, right? There's one, there's one technology, one solution. Um, here's, here are the set of problems that you can solve with that. And you know, the, here are the new features and capabilities that that technology has, has, got, you know, has gained in the last year and so on. It, it's great if you care about the technology and, and use it for solving some of your problems. What we're trying to do with these at-scale conferences is to create a forum, is create a community of people so that we can celebrate challenges, right? And by challenges, I mean, you know, the companies like Pinterest and, you know, Instagram and Dropbox and, and Facebook, um, you know, the, the real world problems that they face um, that, that they have to overcome as they go through, you know, as they try to build a product and, and scale the back end uh, to serve hundreds of millions of users uh, worldwide, right? Um, you know, they, there's a lot of interesting technical challenges that, that they face in the back ends and, there's a wide variety of techniques and technologies that they use to solve them. Um, in, in lots of ways, the problems and solutions are similar, and in lots of ways, they're different. But there are two common themes that you will find in, in, in all of these things. And number one is, um, almost in all these scenarios, the focus, the center of attention, the, the center of the universe is always the problem that needs to be solved, the challenge that, that needs to be overcome, and not one idea or, or one technology. So that's one thing that I'm pretty sure you will, one pattern that you'll see across all these uh, presentations today. The second thing is um, how much they use open source. So another big goal of this conference is to sort of bring people together to work, who work on similar technologies to foster uh, you know, a, a sense of community and, and, and improve, uh, you know, find, help you find ways to collaborate and, and contribute to each other's projects. So hopefully as you sit through uh, the presentations, you know, at the end of the, uh, all the talks, uh, by, by closing remarks, you understand some of the scalability challenges that these companies face, learn how, you know, some practical solutions on how they have overcome these challenges, and mingle, you know, meet other people working on your open source projects and, and find ways to collaborate and contribute to each other's projects. With that, um, let's look at the agenda. Um, we have the first hour, uh, two presentations from Dropbox. Uh, Todd, Z Zviad, and Samir will be presenting. And, and then we have the second hour, we have two presentations from Pinterest. Uh, we'll have a break between the two, and then we have lunch. And then followed by that, uh, in the afternoon sessions, we have one presentation from Instagram and three from Facebook. And with a couple of breaks in between, and Jay Parikh will give us the closing remarks. And then we'll have happy hour and a poster board session where we can drink some cocktails and meet people. A Couple of logistics before I get off stage and invite the Dropbox folks. Um, lanyards, the, the green lanyards that you guys are all wearing, please wear them at all times, uh, just so that you're always uh, staying on the good side of Facebook security. Uh, you don't want to be on their bad side, trust me. Um, and then there's a group that we've created uh, where um, just for this conference, uh, it's uh, facebook.com slash group slash data at scale 2013. Please join that. There will be a lot of information, live information that will be posted there. A copy of all the slide decks will be posted there. And you can also use the group to like, meet other people that work on similar problems and technologies. Um, and 
hashtag is data at scale, use it in Facebook, Twitter, or whatever, or your favorite social network. With that, um, yeah. With that, um, yeah, I invite Todd. Um, Todd is a CMU grad, works in um, Dropbox infrastructure. Uh, he's been working on the MySQL backend, the caching infrastructures, their file system, their file metadata systems stuff. And um, he'll be talking about how they are, you know, what challenges they have faced in building, uh, you know, mirroring large scale MySQL tiers to Hedgebase. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Uh,